Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we have been doing a lot of breadboard circuit tutorials as we learn in Tinkercad circuits and build them in Tinkercad circuits and program them there and then build them on our breadboards and transfer the code that we make into Tinkercad circuits onto our Arduino Unos or Elegoo Unos that come in our kits. Now we worked on wiring up an LCD display and also on creating a counter that would be able to sort of count and keep track of a score for a team. And this time what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add a little LED in here that will be a red, green, blue LED. It comes in our kits and that will, will add some more code to this so that when we get to a certain number, this will go off and we'll have like sort of a little fun um, light display as we do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our LED in now these LEDs have four legs. One is for red, green, blue, and the long one is either your cathode or your anode. I believe these are common cathodes, just like what we had in Tinkercad. The way we'll know is a common cathode means that all of these guys should go to ground, and a common anode would be all of them go to five volts. So sort of the big difference is when we wire this to ground, you would wire it to five volts. So the first thing we'll do then is plug this into our breadboard. One leg goes into each column, so side to side column, not you know up and down where one leg is in different rows and there or all the legs are in the same column. We want different columns for each leg. And also keep track on where this long leg is. That's gonna be really important because that's the one we're gonna wire in it to ground. So I could put this right here right above my board, but then I don't have any holes to plug into because these ones up here, even though they're in the same column, are not connected because they go over this gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug my LED in over here and that will give me a little bit more space. So I'm going to open up these legs just a little bit so that they can go in a little easier. And I'm going to make sure, let's see, row 11 or column 11 is the one that I want, and I have one into each. They have their own little holes here. They're going sort of along a row. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better if we get that yellow out of the way. You can kind of see how that is plugged in there. And now we need to wire up our LED so that we can get it into here. So the first thing that we'll do is we will add a black wire for our ground, and that was in pin 11. You could use one of these long jumper wires. I'm gonna use a shorter one so that it's a little easier to see stuff on this video. So if I move some of these wires out of this way here, I'm gonna want, let's see, here we go. I wanna go from pin 11 up into ground. And I could move this ground out of the way as long as it plugs back into ground, we'll be okay. So I'm gonna go from 11 into ground, just like that. And 11 was where I had my longer leg of the LED. All right, now we're going to wire up our different legs. So this one, we don't actually necessarily know which one is red, green, or blue right off the bat. I think this one over here, that's kind of the furthest away from our ground, I believe that will be still green. So we're gonna plug in to there and our green plugs into pin 13 on our Arduino. So make sure that you sort of check to the side, make sure you're in pin 13 on your um, Elegoo Uno or your Arduino Uno. And then we will plug in our blue and our blue is gonna go right next to green, just like that. And it's gonna go into pin 12, so we're sort of building down. And then you can imagine that our red is gonna go over here on this side. Now we're gonna make a rainbow light display, so it's not actually all that important that your red, green, and blue are wired up exactly right here. So now we go from our last pin of our LED into pin 11. So we have sort of two on one side, our long leg that goes into ground, and then the other one, and they go into 11, 12, and 13 on our, either your Arduino Uno or your Elegate Uno. 
That is all that we need to do in terms of new wiring, but we do need to add some new code. So let's go over to Tinkercad and grab our code from there. So here is our project over in Tinkercad, and you can see that we have a lot of stuff here. These are the inputs from our buttons. So when we were taking input from our buttons to tell that you know something in the outside world happened and you should do something about it, these ones are our, our, our um, RGB LED outputs. So this is gonna be like, after some condition is met, we're gonna put this out into the world, which is why they're outputs. And then we have the same text we had before, where when you press a button, we're gonna add to the score of either team one or team two. And then we wrote some code about what will happen, you know, if team one is victorious, or if team two is victorious, and then how we print the score. And then down here, we have a little bit of a rainbow. So this is gonna sort of alternate if red or green or blue or some combination of the two are high or low, which will give us sort of a fun little rainbow siren effect. Now, if you wanna learn how to write all this code in detail, you should check out our Tinkercad Circuits tutorial for our scorekeeper because we do go through how to write all the code in that video. You can also get it at patreon.com slash rosyresearch, and that's a really easy way to get the code if you want to download it. But I always suggest checking out those videos and learning as you go, because it's only gonna get harder, and we definitely want to learn when it's easy, right? All right, so let's go over after we copy this code into our Arduino IDE to put it onto our computer. So we have our Arduino IDE here. We have an empty sketch. If it has anything in it, you're gonna delete everything and we will paste this in right here. And so this is all of the code that we just added that you can either get through our Tinkercad Circus tutorial video or through our patreon.com slash rosyresearch. And we will upload this code onto our computer right here. You can see that our LED flashed and we have team one and team two, we can keep a score. And let's see what happens when we get there we go, team one is victorious when it gets to 10. We have this fun rainbow lights display and then it should also reset for us after our lights display goes through and it resets back to zero. So we can double check. Ooh, I gotta press team two's button a little harder. That team two also wins and you get this brilliant light display. And you can't quite see all the colors for you guys. It's kind of bright for you guys but it's really quite beautiful. And this is a fun way to keep track of a score. Either maybe you're playing basketball or gaga ball, or maybe you're doing something like a card game and you wanna know how many rounds somebody has won. It's a great way to do that. And it's been a lot of fun making this project with you guys. I hope you enjoyed our scorekeeper project. We learned so much how to wire up an LCD, how to add these buttons in, and now how to add that rainbow light. We hope that we will see you for our other projects and um, I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.